Oh yeah, the skunk. Oh fuck yeah. Oh, watch garlic fucking croutons is gonna go. Shut sure, Foodie Beauty's laughing at it. Do something about it. Let's block her out. <laughs> Commissary bees. Ew. Fuck. I would rather fuck a caterpillar than him. They're planning another blackout. What the fuck? They're so stupid. What's your reason for blacking me out? Don't watch me, you idiots. I need to report these people to YouTube for being dumb. Is there a stupid button somewhere? How the fuck dare you use me as your content every day because you have a boring ass fucking sports channel. Because your voice is annoying, I couldn't st Honestly, it makes me want to be gay. You make me want to be gay. Has a woman ever told you that before? Well, I'm the first one then. What? Love after lockup. Ew. <clears throat> well, you can visit Dee Dee and her mom in the nursing home pretty soon together. God. That's at least a plus for you. Walking distance since you're a bum and don't drive. So he has to walk, he has to make up the condo. Dee's going in the nursing home with her mom soon. I'm being such a brat. I'm sorry. He's poisoning her mom's pudding. Stop it. No, he's not. And watch, he would blame this on me. Oh, well, you're the one. Why are you being a fucking bitch and talking about me online still? You're the one who fucking did this to me. You ruined my reputation. You still don't get it? No, you never take ownership for your actions. You are the abusive one, pal. Anyways, this one Turkish guy, okay, this really hot fucking Portuguese man, really buff guy, messaged me, he's like, hey girl, I have a Turkish friend in Montreal who really thinks you're hot, he's a really good guy and he wants to talk to you, so here's his number. So I messaged him and he's like, S he's hot, but he's super pushy, like he becomes super like, I want to do this and I want to do this all over you and I want to push you like this and I want you to do what I say. And then he sends me a video of him doing, you know, himself. And it's like super small, so I'm like block right away. God! <laughs> Did I ever tell you when I was breaking up with Pete's? I wanted- I was dating around. I'm such a fucking bitch. And I was like, do you want to? I'm like, you don't have to. But I was like, can I practice riding you <laughs> to see? <laughs> so to see if I squished any, cause I want to know if I squish a man. I'm dating now, so. Look sure. <laughs> so then <laughs> he laid on the bed and I got on top of him. I'm like, am I squishing you? He's like, um, my, my thighs are a little uncomfortable actually. <laughs> He's so fucking brutally honest. I fucking died of laughter. <laughs> Sometimes I match up with men on Tinder. <coughs> or plenty of fish. <coughs> and these men are fucking huge. Like they, they're like this. <laughs> they have like thighs like this, and a body like this. <laughs> Like, I could sit on them. I could sit on them. <laughs> I wanna- I wanna try it. I wanna sit on someone like that. <laughs> um, I'm- I think I'm definitely straight. Like, I... don't think I could be in a relationship with a woman. I don't remember what I did back then. He just sat there, like, with... Loser face. Sorry. Um, he would do the thrusting, so I would kind of just be like sitting on- Well, no, I would move too, but not as much as- like, he would do most of the moving. <coughs> and I remember him always saying, you'll never find anyone of sex to F you like I F you. You'll never find anyone. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if I never do. Maybe I'll forever miss your dick. It doesn't matter because you know what? It's not worth it.
your D is not worth the rest at all. At all. I think that poor guy thought he was actually gonna move in with me, like... Actually, I kind of felt good at one point because my fupa was just rubbing on something, I don't even know what. <laughs> it did- nothing went inside me, I don't think. Because he's too small, it doesn't reach. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I just said that. That's so I'm sorry. No, he's really nice, and you know what? He's a good kisser. He is a good kisser. But anyway, he's like, you you know, you do it really good. Would you like- I'm not gonna say his name or anything, so. He's like, you do it really good. Oh, fuck. And I'm like, okay. And then he's like, can you do it before we go? I'm fucking- I'm like, no, I don't feel good. The uh, Indian guy that I don't want to see him either anymore. Fuck. I canceled my date on for tomorrow. And so he's out the picture. <laughs> Who else? Um. Uh. Did you have to fake gag to make the guy feel better? No, I actually did gag because I was going to throw up. <laughs> Not to be mean, but I <laughs> Just like with freaking doo doo. I actually puked. And she's like, she puked when she saw you eating. No! Yeah, that was gross. That was extra gross, lady. But no, after I seen that, I ran to the couch and you ran after me. Swore on your mother's life that you didn't have sex with him. Ew, as if. Of course you did, because you're a prostitute. You sleep with anything with a hole in that, or anything with a hole. Anything. <laughs> I don't fuck Dee Dee. Does that sound familiar? Seriously, I don't fuck Dee Dee. Ew. Really? No, now you live with her and you want to marry her with an old ass cursed Jafar ring, you fucking Disney villain. <laughs> They're so gross. I can't. I'm staying away from Montreal. <laughs> and I'm especially not going to pick up dudes anymore. But I was going hard to get us a place. Like, I fucking wanted to be with him so I was in the lobby waiting for the building manager to come get us an application and I watched him like play in the gym and I just remember feeling so like happy and deep, deep depressed depression. Like I remember just every time I was with him I would feel insanely mentally ill, like just drained of energy just because like fighting again over like what I was saying about him online. Why did you say, like, I told you it's my way, I told you it's my way, I told you it's my way. <clears throat> he wanted me to lie about everything just to save his face. And no, I'm not like that. I'm not going to fucking lie to you guys. It, why would it be something with the cops that they have to clear with the cops? I literally, like, don't remember at all being in a conversation on Messenger with Matter where... It was something really, you know, where we were being recorded or... You know what I mean? Like, I don't remember at all anything like that. It, or talking about... First of all, I never did any fucking drugs after July 8th. So, yeah, it was like last year, July 8th. So, no. So, it's like something with drugs, something with Pete's. We already know all about that. I'm a very open book. I fucking pretty much shared so much. Like, pretty much everything with you guys. So I'm not like really fuck whatever, you know. I'm just I'm still waiting. What do you have? Like I don't know. Like you're gonna like pin something on me that I did like during a fucking abusive relationship? Like okay. <laughs> whatever. What's your karma? <clears throat> You'll never go near my precious pussy ever again, you fucking gonorrhea infested loser. And you, ugh. I don't even know what to say about you, Grey Flaps. <coughs> you can all go to hell. Sorry. Look at his feet are askew here.